Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how I use multiple folders to organise my multiple projects. Okay, now to start with, let's start with this one. Okay, I have one of these folders that has the little plastic transparent envelope stuck in it. This is what I use for my editorial calendar for my blogs. For example, because I have two main blogs, I've got writers and authors, so I did calendar for that. As you can see, each sheet is a calendar month. And then I can schedule in then the different posts that have to go on different days. That's particularly important with the writers and authors site because I host a lot of other people on that site for interviews, for guest posts, I do um, book experts and uh, book spotlight pieces, do reviews and things like that as well, which for the most part, they're part of actual book tours that the authors are doing and things. So it's important that I keep the dates where they should be and know when I have to be posting. So that works there. I also have another calendar, which I use for jolinestub.com. Again, it's the editorial calendar, so I know what I'm posting and when I'm posting. So I tend to, at the beginning of the month or even before then, um, sit down and I brainstorm different ideas for content and stuff like this month I'm doing the September video challenge and so um, I planned out the different videos and things that I would be doing for the whole month which I'm obviously each day I'm spotlighting them on jolinstar.com so if you haven't checked them out go and check them out now and if you are taking part in the challenge as well then make sure you drop back every day to post your own video links for the videos that you've been posting for the challenge as well, okay? Just drop down into the comment section of the post for that day and add your link there as well because it's good to connect and see what everyone else is doing. The whole idea is that we can feed off each other's ideas. But anyway, so this is what it is. I also have a little notes section down the side so that I can add in little things like maybe if I'm planning a launch coming soon or something then I can have little notes about the things that I need to be doing then. Also on the... Um, writers and authors site as well. I have little notes on there for the site statistics and things like that. Whereas for jolinsdale.com, which um, you'll know if you're subscribed to my monthly newsletter, which you should be. If you're not, go to jolinsdale.com now and do it because it's awesome. Um, I share a lot of behind the scenes information about how I'm growing my network and my brand and uh, all that kind of jazz and so I keep track of all my monthly stats. I have this uh, chat which I'm using so I log in the sessions, the users, the page views, um, my bounce rate, uh, my Google ranking, the number of followers that I have, uh, email subscribers that I have, also like my clout score and pretty much every kind of statistic you can imagine I log it on this sheet at the end of every month last day of the month it goes in there all of the stats so I then have one the information that I need to be showing in my newsletter to show you what I've been doing and the results that it's gotten me um, but also it's good to have them all on the one page because then I can see how I've grown from month to month as well to make sure that my my stats are going up, like they should be and not crumbling down. So um, that's how I do my organizing for my blogging, okay? But I also have different folders for different things as well. This one, for example, is a notebook which I use for social media, okay? I've marked in, as you can see, I've got little tabs on the pages. I don't know if you can see that little tab there. Okay, so I've divided the book up so that I have uh, like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, uh, it's all on there, they're all divided down and then within those pages I make notes for things that I want to be sharing on that particular social media network or maybe uh, also notes about like the, the graphic sizes for when I want to be sharing images and things. So I make a note about the graphic sizes there, working it out. So that is helping me build my social media editorial calendar as well and make sure that I'm on track with um, the building of my brand 
and uh, everything there as well and increasing things. So that's social media. Then I have another one which is for presentations and webinars. Um, I particularly like doing um, presentations and webinars during online events because obviously I'm British but I live in Italy and Italy doesn't have that many English language in-person events um, for the sort of things that I do so um, but it is getting better there is a bit more stuff happening now than there used to be but it's still um, for the most part in Italian which is fine I'm okay I can speak Italian so um, that's not a problem I'm actually bilingual but um, because my whole branding and everything is designed around English speakers and my, therefore my audience is English speakers, um, it doesn't make much sense really for me to go presenting in Italian, if you follow. But anyway, so this is where I make notes about, um, or ideas that I have for possible future webinars or presentations, um, but also where I do my planning for the webinars and presentations that I'm actually scheduled to do already. So I have a separate one there, and then this one, which is like falling apart because it has pages shoved in all over the place, is one of my most used. This is for ideas and notes for my work in progress, which is why it's falling apart. I have lots of these, actually, <laughs> which are for um, my ideas and notes. Um, and this is where I just jot down different ideas, um, maybe do some rough plotting, for a book. This is like my, my big brainstorming happens in this blue one. Um, so yeah, it's all colour coded down so that I know if I'm working on a webinar or something then I need to get my red book because that's where I've got the notes um, for that. If I'm working on social media stuff I need to go get the green one because that's got that stuff there. Blog stuff, orange folder. It, it's all divided down and it really does help because it separates it down. When I've got to work on one thing, I can just concentrate on that one thing. I know where my notes are for each separate project that I do. Um, so anyway, that's uh, how I organize my various different projects. Um, if you have a really cool system for organizing multiple projects as well, then please tell me about it, because I would love to pick up uh, some new ideas and things, some inspiration maybe that I can insert into my own system. So leave a comment below and please show me your thoughts. Uh, if you have liked this video then please give it a like. Uh, also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new uploads. And like I said before, come visit me at jolinstyle.com. See you next time.